In the quiet village of Ragnall, nestled amid the rolling hills of England, lived a young man named Elias. His eyes, restless and curious, always returned to the tales of ancient explorers and wise philosophers, tales his grandfather would recount by the fireside. When his grandfather passed away, leaving behind an old leather-bound journal and a modest sum of money, Elias knew the time had come for his own journey. Chapter 1 The call of the journey Elias set off at dawn towards the cliffs of Dover. He left behind his tearful mother and the only home he'd ever known. His first destination was Egypt, a land draped in desert sands and rich with ancient wisdom. Upon seeing the great pyramids of Giza, Elias felt a deep stir within. In Egypt, he met Ashraf, a guide versed in the lore of stars and pharaohs. Ashraf shared that each pyramid stone told a story of perseverance and precision, essential qualities for any seeker of truth. Chapter 2. The Depths and the Heights From Egypt, Elias traveled by ship across the Mediterranean, reaching Greece's shores. Climbing the steps of Athens' Acropolis, he reflected on the philosophers who once debated reality here. In Greece, he met Katerina, a teacher of philosophy who introduced him to the Socratic method, encouraging him to question everything in search of understanding. Katerina's advice was profound. Seek not all the answers, but understand the questions. Chapter 3 The Canvas of the East, Elias's quest, next took him to India, captivated by the Taj Mahal's ivory-white marble, a monument to love and human expression. In Mumbai's vibrant streets, he encountered Anaya, an artist who depicted the city's life in her paintings. Anaya taught Elias to find beauty in simple lives and everyday struggles, showing him that opportunity often lies where least expected. Chapter 4. The Land of the Rising Sun Longing for deeper understanding, Elias flew to Japan. The peaceful temples of Kyoto, especially during the cherry blossom season, brought him serenity. A monk named Hiroshi introduced him to Zen meditation helping Elias find clarity and strength in silence. Hiroshi's lessons emphasized the importance of being present in a noisy world. Chapter 5. The New World Elias then crossed the Atlantic to explore the United States. In New York City, the Statue of Liberty stood as a symbol of hope and freedom. There he met Lillian, a retired teacher who viewed the American dream as a pursuit of happiness and personal freedom. Her stories prompted Elias to reflect on his own dreams and the true meaning of liberty. Chapter 6. The Return. Returning to Ragnall, Elias was transformed. He had learned from each monument and every person met along the way. He realized that seeking meaning in life isn't about finding all the answers, but about embracing the questions that propel us forward. Elias learned that life is not just about seeking opportunities, but understanding what we gain through the act of seeking itself. With knowledge, humility, and a renewed thirst for life's essence, Elias began to write his own stories, ready to inspire the next generation as his grandfather had inspired him.